Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, I'd love you to hit subscribe and follow along with my journey. It's a sunny Friday. I just finished coaching outdoor boot camps. Today's a public holiday, so it was a later start and coached outdoors, which was lots of fun, but I am so sweaty, really thirsty and also hungry. So it's about 11.20 in the morning. We were going to cross the border and go to Bellingham today because we wanted to do a Trader Joe's mesh, but instead we heard that there's a huge border wait. We thought that most people would head there on the Friday, so we thought we'd be in the clear, but apparently not. It's a gorgeous day though, so we're gonna go home and eat some late breakfast, and then we're gonna rejig the game plan and decide what we're gonna do, which I don't, I don't have many ideas at the minute, but obviously something that involves just enjoying the sun, relaxing, and yeah, I'll take you along with me. So I decided to just have some wheat bix with yogurt. It's kind of like this very, very nice stuff. It's New Zealand cereal that I sprinkled on top. Just gonna have this and chill out for a little bit. Probably gonna go out and grab a nice coffee soon. We just didn't want to spend the money eating breakfast out because we'll probably have dinner out. So once we figure out what our plan is, we'll kind of probably eat dinner out wherever we end up today. Unless we just end up crashing this afternoon. I know that Ty has to do a little bit of work, but it's not too hot inside our apartment, but it would definitely be much nicer to be outside. So I'm just out for a little stroll. I'm actually going to get Ty and I an iced coffee. Interesting factoid. Last month when my brother was here, he ordered Ty himself and I an iced latte, iced oat milk latte. And I was like, this is the best thing ever. This tastes so good. This place does the best iced coffee. And usually when I order myself, I order like a cold brew or an Americano, iced Americano with a dash of oat milk in the top. And it wasn't until the other day when I randomly decided to try an oat milk iced latte from Starbucks that I realized that it wasn't so much that like that was necessarily the best iced coffee I'd ever had. It was just that I've always, I've never ordered or never had an iced latte before. And obviously there's a lot more milk in it, a lot like they use that barista oat milk and it's really thick and creamy and delicious. So this whole time, I'm 32, I had my first iced latte last month. I've just been drinking Americanos with oat milk or a cold brew with oat milk, which I still love by the way, but now we've got options. Iced latte, I just, it's not a very interesting story, but I, it, it did surprise me, especially for someone who loves coffee as much as I do. Uh, so yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the sunshine. Then we're gonna game plan where we're going to go and chill and read and have some snacks in the sun this afternoon. I think we're going to avoid the beach just because it's going to be so hectic, so packed and I don't know, I don't think we'll be able to get a shady spot and that is important to me. I don't like being out in the direct sunlight and you do have to be really careful during and post chemo. So right now I've got like 50 SPF on and I'm definitely not going to like directly put myself in sunlight unless I have to. So like I'm wearing this big t-shirt, cover up, got my hat on and my sunblock. Um, obviously can't wear long sleeves cause it's just too hot. Otherwise I absolutely would just to cover up. So yeah, the goal is to find a shady spot. So Ty and I've had some chill time at home. We actually had a little bit of a nap. And now we're going to the supermarket just to pick up some snacks. So we're gonna pick up some some fresh fruit. Uh, I'm really craving pineapple, so hopefully they got some pre cut because they didn't bring a knife. And uh, yeah, just a few little snacks to have at the park. Put our candles with us, and we're just gonna find a shady spot and just park up there for the next few hours. Uh, like I said, we would have gone somewhere where we could have a swim, but we were thinking maybe later we could pick up some dinner and go eat it by the water when things quieten down a little bit, but we shall see. Yes. Got some snackies, I ended up getting my pineapple. Just found a shady spot, so this is us here. It's pretty chill. So I'm just walking home, which is about 10 blocks from where we are to go to the bathroom, which isn't ideal. One thing that's interesting to me here is that in a lot of public parks and beaches, there's not a lot of public restrooms. So there's no restroom here and the closest would probably be at a shop. And because I'm in mean, probably about a, yeah, eight to 10 minute walk from home, 
I might as well go home in the comfort and cleanliness of my own bathroom. But it is frustrating for someone who obviously like I can't control when I go to the bathroom at the moment. And depending on what I'm wearing, I mean, it's also a comfort thing as well. But if I'm really wearing form-fitting skirt, dress or shorts, and these shorts are a little bit snug, uh, I feel like everyone can see. I feel uncomfortable, not to mention the adhesive on the stroma bag pulls. So overall, I just want to empty it. And so I was kind of just waiting to see if it was really full enough that I needed to. And I do. So walking home, I'm going to go do that scull back some water. Ty's knee's playing up a little bit, so he's just gonna go scarred all of our stuff. And then I'll just come back, but I definitely wanna spend a couple more hours there. So I'm glad that we are close to home. So we've come up with a little plan. We got changed, I'm wearing a little dress. Ty has got a shirt on, that's our idea of fancy these days. We're gonna head to the North Shore and we're going to we don't know exactly which restaurant we're gonna to go to, but there's a bunch of restaurants right by the water and that would be ideal. So I'm gonna try get a spot in one of those. I just have no idea how busy these things are gonna be. A lot of people are probably out of town, but in saying that, if people are in town, those are the spots that they would go to. So we'll see what we can do. Just gonna get some petrol on the way and hopefully there's no traffic on the bridge because the Lionsgate Bridge is notorious for traffic. So fingers crossed. She's a beautiful day, mate. You can see the ocean, the trees, the mountains. I think there's a gig happening over here. So we didn't realize, but I think there's actually like a little event going on here which means that all the restaurants are super chaotic and have a big long wait. But there's a bunch of food trucks here and one of our favorite restaurants, Chickpea, um, that's like quite close to where we, we live on um, the city side. Uh, they have a food truck here. So we're gonna get Chickpea for dinner. Okay, so we got Chickpea, so Ty got a shawarma wrap, so it's all vegan. I got this schnitzelonum, which is a uh, smoked crumbed tofu. And we're eating it right by the water, which is exactly what we wanted. Are you a happy man? Happy man. <laughs> we just got in the car and that was just this random little surprise. We didn't know that there was kind of, what would you even call it? Like a street fair or it's just kind of a, a little festival. I don't know. Anyway, there was a bunch of food trucks, a lot of stuff happening, a little concert. So one of our favorite vegan restaurants had a food truck there called Chickpea and we love the food there i've mentioned before i took mum and dad there and um, they loved it it's it's such good food and so we had these peters uh they're so filling though i feel so full but we were tossing saying up the that, chickpea fries with them as well and I was yeah like, no. yeah no 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 those are way too hearty but my eyes are bigger than my stomach but there's always room for dessert and i definitely think we can get some ice cream but i'm thinking i don't want to spend a ton of money on just getting an ice cream out maybe we could get a tub of ice cream and then we could get some cones because i kind of feel like a a roll cone and then like cones last a long time so we could just have them for the rest of summer i'm like negotiating with ty to see if he's on the same buzz as me are you on an ice cream buzz sounds like a terrible idea i'm in <laughs> Yes, now we just have to decide what flavor. We usually pretty, 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 gosh, I can't speak today. We're usually pretty compatible on ice cream flavors. We both don't love like a chocolate ice cream, do we? Like it, it can have chocolate in it, but we don't like plain chocolate. I think my favorite has to be, and they don't have it here, is like a boysenberry ripple, which is basically a vanilla base and it's got berries through it and it's like a berry coolie and it's so good what's your fave it's my reckon? dad's favorite flavor i know and it's my dad's favorite flavor as well i know that it's your dad's my favorite flavor is strawberry strawberry anything like, yeah if, i mean to be fair if it's a, if it's a we're very thing. compatible on that we should let's find a strawberry like, ice cream i like strawberry let's, milkshakes easy let's find a strawberry ice cream all right we're on the hunt for strawberry ice cream okay so we didn't get strawberry we ended up getting like vanilla just a classic this cat does not care about spatial awareness. No, she loves her. Oh. Mm. Good 
Good morning. Actually, I'm not allowed to say that. It's 12.08. Good afternoon. I have been working all morning and I'm feeling exhausted. I did a workout this morning and then I coached workouts and then I lifted some heavy equipment around. I feel like my back's a little bit sore. Just overall, I need a bit of a rest. I've got tomorrow off and definitely going to put my feet up. I woke up this morning in such a bad mood. I had a nightmare and it put me just in a really weird headspace and I got up so that's why I decided to do a workout nice and early and I did feel better for it but honestly I was just feeling really grumpy and low energy probably wouldn't have known from the outside because I wasn't obviously putting that onto my clients but I definitely was feeling really heavy in energy and then I got my period so that did make a little bit of sense with just kind of like overall not feeling great um, but I'm feeling a bit better now uh, with Ty now uh, and we're gonna go on a little adventure we're gonna head out to Fort Langley one of our favorite spots if you've watched the vlogs before you would have seen us go there so I was starving but we are gonna go out for food so I didn't want to get too much so I picked up a couple of pieces of fruit um, I got a nectarine which I definitely groped a lot of them to see uh, which was the best one. I think this is the best one. And then I just got an apple. Uh, and so I'm gonna drink lots of water, have these two pieces of fruit, and then have some food once we get to Fort Langley. We're gonna go to Saba. I think we're just gonna go to the Saba Bakery and get a couple little bits, walk along down by the river. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna stop in the grass and have a really big stretch. Um, another thing that happened this morning that kind of like put me in a bit of a bad mood. You guys know that I've talked a little bit about how my pigmentation's gotten way worse from chemo and I am a little bit self-conscious about it. Well, I personally just, they've gotten so dark and I think they make me look a little bit older, like almost age spots. And I just, I really want to, um, uh, I'm having a skin consult, uh, a follow-up skin consult about it uh, next week. And um, I wanna get some laser treatment to help reduce the appearance of that. And someone was like to me, oh, someone's freckles are looking intense. And it was just the way they said it. I, I'm sure they didn't mean I like anything stink by it they thought it meant like oh sun's out and you're getting sun and um you know I, i'm sure they probably meant it as a compliment but i was just kind of like oh i know they're intense it's from the chemo i've taken such good care of my skin to like try and calm them down and like i said before i love freckles i'm okay with my freckles but they've just gotten so much darker and i definitely want to reduce the appearance of that um so for a more like even complexion it's also the redness and like broken capillaries so overall want to work on that so I was just kind of like oh stink anyway I don't want to put the negative negativity in the vlog but I just want to be real I said I'd be real with how I'm feeling and where I'm at uh, but yeah like I said I'm feeling a lot more positive now and I'm excited to sink my teeth into this nectarine and just go on a beautiful sunny drive I love the drive out to Fort Langley it's just a dream so we're heading out so we've made it to Fort Langley and I already feel just so much more peaceful out here. It's a change of pace. It's it is, it's such a change of pace. So green. It's like the markets are there and it's just, it's just uplifting. Also, side note, this is just a special place to us. We found it during um, uh, like the panoramic, you know, and we had to uh, like find places that were local within our area that we could just come visit and chill out because you obviously couldn't travel far. And we actually came here on the day we got engaged mm -hmm. and, and we celebrated here. We've just got so many fond memories here uh, with my sister. And also we brought my mom and dad here. So yeah, we just love it here. And especially this little cafe called Saba. And they've actually expanded recently. So they've now got like their little bakery area and a big cafe. Both are great. And we're just kind of deciding how hungry we are after our snacks. Do we want something from the bakery or do we want to sit down? Or do we want to maybe stroll and then figure it out? I don't know.
yeah, sweaty. I'm looking a bit drippy. I do have a lot of sunblock on and it makes me super shiny, but it protects me. So we're finished in Fort Langley. It's about three o'clock in the afternoon. We're gonna head back to Vancouver and we're not sure what we're doing this evening. Um, I guess we could probably have dinner outside like we did last night, just cause it's such nice weather. Yeah. But I think we might either make it or you know, just pick up some bits and pieces that we can throw together, like make some veggie wraps or something like that. Not feeling anything heavy. This weather just doesn't call for it. You don't feel like something hearty. Mm. Oh, there's a wedding happening over there. Cute. It's like the city hall area. It's such a cute area. Let me flip the camera around. A lot of really old buildings. It's so cool. And back over this way, this is the city hall. And they're just having a wedding in here today. And it's just, you can imagine that that place used to go off. It was built in 1931. Yeah, just a lot of history in this cute little town. A few hoedowns there. Oh yeah, hoedown throwdown. We are just out for a bit of a stroll. Um, we got home, I had a shower, dried my hair and I tried to have a bit of a lie down but honestly the anxiety is just really getting on top of me I am really struggling in this limbo period while I'm waiting for my results and I wish I could be a bit more rational with my thoughts but I'm obviously still dealing with the trauma of my last CT scan and the way I see it is the more clear CT scans I have under my belt and great news that I have in relation to this journey, the safer I will feel and the calmer I will feel around getting CT scans. So where I'm at right now is that I just, I really want to hear that all clear. And I, like I've said before, it's not that I don't believe that that's the case. It's just my mind plays tricks on me. And sometimes, oh, there's a squirrel. Hello. I still just get so like oh this is so cute i just get so distracted by squirrels but yeah walking just helps me so much i mean you probably noticed i'm constantly walking at the moment and the weather's great and so why wouldn't i be outdoors so just walking with ty and we are going to go get some thai food and sit down and have a drink and just be out of the house um, but we're not going to be in a very busy area, which is also going to be nice. So that's kind of the plan, just really low-key night. We consider going to the movies, but yeah, I think just walking, being outside is just, yeah, that's where I want to be right now. And Ty has been good. He's listening to, I'm just chewing his ear off. <laughs> he's a good, he's a good listener. He's a sponge. Remember when I said that we were going to get Thai food? I honestly don't even know what I'm saying. This place is a Vietnamese restaurant and I knew exactly what I was already going to order so I'm not sure why I said Thai food. It's Vietnamese and it's delicious. So we just finished dinner. We're walking home now. Feeling pretty bloated. Thai's rubbing his tummy. It was really good food, but yeah, just really, really filling. Um, that's Ty's Grinch walk whenever he thinks of that bloated pose, you know? <laughs> whenever he thinks of, you know, like when the Grinch is like, that's it, I'm not going. Um, anyway, um, we're walking home now, and I think the plan is to have an ice cream at home and to watch a movie. And we did a little bit of movie, uh, reconnaissance while we're at dinner I looked on Amazon Prime while uh, or Prime Video and Ty looked on Netflix and we've decided on Midnight in Paris because it's 93% on Rotten Tomatoes it's a little bit of a rom-com I think correct me if I'm wrong or I'll definitely know before this vlog obviously comes out and um, I guess it just kind of takes us to a different place and yeah I just feel like traveling virtually bit of escapism. You, yeah, if you can't be in Paris, watch Paris. So 
gonna do that and just have a really chill night. I'm not working tomorrow, Ty is, um, but I'm just gonna have a later start. So I'm very excited about that. It's been a week since I haven't woken up to an alarm. So waking up naturally is, I think just what the doctor ordered, then I won't feel so much pressure on going to sleep tonight. Look at this person's beautiful little wild flower garden. It's so sweet. Good morning and happy Sunday. Just having a coffee. It is pretty gloomy outside. She's pretty rainy and I'm gonna walk to a workout soon. So I think I'm gonna need to do the full umbrella moment and maybe even rain boots just because Ty has the car. Um, so not ideal, but to be honest, I don't mind that there's a day of rain because we've been so lucky with the sun this past week, just as long as the sun comes back tomorrow. Do you love how I'm just negotiating there? Anyway, just checking in from how I was feeling last night. I'm still feeling a little bit heavy energy, but I always feel better in the morning. You know, sometimes with anxiety, people wake up with it and that's when they feel at their worst. I feel uh, it happens a little bit further in the day. Um, I mean, definitely when I get to bed at night, that's when it's at its worst, but uh, it spikes a little bit later in the day. I'm just such a morning person. It's when I have more energy. I did have another nightmare and I'm really trying to break out of that cycle. It's almost like I'm going to bed with the fear that I'm going to have a nightmare. The nightmares aren't even specific to my situation. Um, I'll just clarify. It's just in general, just nightmares. Um, I haven't been eating any cheese, so I'm not having cheesy dreams. I'm not really sure what it is. Anyway, I've just got my cup of coffee here and I'm just going to chill out for a bit, just watching some YouTube vlogs. Yesterday, I uploaded Ty and I's Q&A, and there's so many lovely comments, and I'm so glad that we actually found some time to be able to film it. It was quite challenging to find the time, but yeah, if you have questions for us, like I said in the video, we are doing a road trip soon, and we'll be happy to answer some of them within a vlog. I couldn't answer all of the questions. I tried to answer the ones that were being asked um, most commonly, uh, like a few times, just in, phrased in different ways. Um, but yeah, if you have questions, throw them my way. Um, I have had really bad neuropathy. I mean, to be honest, it's not like it's gotten worse. It's just sensory issue wise. I've realized that for the past six weeks, I just simply cannot wear socks. If I'm wearing sandals, it's a real struggle and I'm trying to uh, get used to lots of different uh, feelings. So sleeping without socks on is just unbearable. I tried for like the first hour of last night and I couldn't do it. It just, it, it's like a burning sensation on the bottom of my foot. I can't explain it. So I'm hoping that that comes back, but socks just feel secure. And like I've said before, specifically wearing my sneakers and I've got these sock slip on sneakers that are my favorite. And if I could choose them every time I would, but I probably need to get them in black because mine are white and they just get dirty from me wearing them outside. So yeah, there's definitely a sensory thing now with my hands and my feet. Um, but anyway, today's a bit of an organization day. Gonna do a workout, gonna do a walk, uh, hopefully if the weather gets better, and then uh, groceries. I've planned the meals out for the week. Uh, I've planned up until Thursday. Um, you know, just in case things come up, I don't want to have bought like too much produce and then it goes to waste. So that's Sunday's reset plan. Okay, so we've hit a little bit of an issue. I've mentioned before that we have car troubles and it is ongoing. Basically, we replaced our um, car that was just completely kaput with a Nissan Murano. That Nissan Murano, when we took it to get a service, had a um, blown gasket. And so luckily the guy took the car back and gave us a refund. We went to a car dealership, got a secondhand car. And on the like second day, the, is it the immobilizer? Mm -hmm. was causing us issues and we couldn't start the car so we talked to him and he said that he'd be happy as a new car came in um that was of a similar value to exchange it and the car has still continued to have issues but he's like keep driving it until something comes in we've got our road trip in just over a week and this car has just like started making this clunking sound and it's just something's really wrong so we're not going to be able to go do our groceries and we're kind of not sure what to do next really we've called him like off the hook he's open today 
and he's like stopped responding to Ty's phone calls and just a bit of like a dodgy dealer really and it's just yeah we're probably about a 10 minute drive from home about a 30 minute walk but we're parked in an area that's permit parking only so we'll get a fine if we leave the car here uh, so we're not really sure what what to do uh, but stuck so hopefully when I update you next it's a good update because I have no idea what we're gonna do Okay, so the update is we finally got in contact with the dealership and basically he was really rude to tie on the phone. Uh, what he's been saying this entire time is that he's just been waiting for a new shipment of used cars and that he would replace ours to the value or if we wanted to pay the cost difference to get a better car, um, that we were able to do that. And anytime Ty has called him and checked in with him, he said he'll call us back or he's going to an auction this afternoon and he'll call us back. And he never did and now because uh, there's, there's a new problem that's um, risen up today. We were just like, we don't want to drive this. We want to take it back now. Like we'll pay the difference or whatever. He basically just said, nah, I'm not going to replace it. And so this whole time he's just been fobbing us off. So it's super frustrating. We, we're going to take it to the mechanic to get it quoted, to get fixed. And then we'll probably just treat it as a runaround car. But I don't know what we're going to do for the road trip. All of our accommodation is refundable, so we might just fly into LA. I don't know, I don't really have the capacity for it right now. I just feel like it's so overwhelming. I think we'll deal with it all tomorrow. Uh, the road trip's not for another 10 or nine days, so um, we still have till about the 13th to cancel our, all of our accommodation. It's just quite expensive to hire a car, more affordable to fly, and I don't know. Yeah, I just can't get my head around it all at the moment, so. I'm making banana bread because when one feels overwhelmed, one must bake. So banana bread it is. I had those bananas that I really needed to use and I think that will cheer me up. Okay, so, oh wow, my face is nice and inflamed. I just scrubbed it when I was in the bath, so it's super sensitive and goes bright red. Made myself a salad, this is the base. It's just iceberg lettuce, cherry tomato, cucumber, red onion, and alfalfa sprouts. And I've just got a chickpea patty that I'm cooking to put in with that. It just felt like something nice and light. We resolved the issue with the car. It wasn't as big of a deal as we thought it was gonna be, so uh, I won't get into the boring details. I don't know much about cars, but basically we thought it was going to be this big issue and it turned out to be something really small so easy to fix uh, no major drama but we still um weren't able to we're not replacing it with that guy we're just fixing the small issue uh anyway so that is good news uh and i've just been out for a walk it's raining it's gloomy that's why i had a hot bath so gonna enjoy the salad ty's gonna go to rehearsals i'm just chilling by myself tonight probably just gonna continue to watch some youtube vlogs and we're still kind of thinking, we like even though we've resolved the issue with the car, we're trying to think about our road trip and if we want to hire a car and still do the road trip or if we want to instead book flights and just do California. I don't know. We've got a little bit of time to decide. I'm probably going to look at the options tonight and price it, see which one's better for us. Um, yeah. Pros and cons to both. Want to see as much of the country as possible, but also... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling, I'm in two minds about it, so we'll see. I'm having one of those nights where I just want to eat everything in sight. This is where the banana loaf's at. Granted, Ty's helped me, but um, every time I go past it, I just cut off a little wedge and cut off another little wedge and just disappears. But seriously, I, after dinner, I've honestly, I had an ice cream, then I had some crackers and snacks, and I had some dark chocolate. Then I had um, a hot chocolate with some marshmallows. I didn't document all of this. It all just got wolfed down. Had a piece of fruit toast. I, I just kind of, I thought my, I felt so full after dinner, but I ate dinner at 5.30 and I've just been editing a vlog and now still feeling super hungry. So I think I'm actually just gonna bite the bullet and make myself another like small meal, um, which will probably be a smoothie bowl, let's be real. And you guys have seen that a million times. So I'm probably gonna make that and then have a peppermint tea. I've got my ginormous pelican mug. It's like pink on the inside, very cute. And then I'm going to 
go to bed before Ty gets home because I can't imagine he'll be home from rehearsal before 10 p.m. I'm now gonna try and do a couple of wedding bits just while I eat my smoothie bowl. I'm just, by wedding bits, I mean I'm on the hunt, like looking at things to hire. And so I'm just looking at price points and stuff like that, just trying to find the best option. But that's what I'm gonna do. And I thought that I would wrap up this vlog here. I don't really know how much footage I've got, but just because I started vlogging, I think Friday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'll start a new vlog in the week. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next.